I work in the call center industry and we deal with a lot of information, a lot of data with agents, when they work, the date that they worked, how many emails they completed, their average email time. And in a small team, it's not unusual to deal with 4,000 rows of data. And sometimes you have a simple request like, can you tell me uh, how many emails each of the agents completed in May? It's a pretty simple request, should be easy to do. And it is easy to do, it just takes a long time. One way to do that is to, we've got all of our agents scattered here because they work different times and different days. So you might want to sort this data. First, I've got a column heading, I'll, I'll sort it by agent name and then I'll pick another column and I will say emails completed. If I do that, of course I'm using Google Sheets here. Google Sheets is free, available to everyone, so that makes it uh, advantageous. But Excel can do everything, the same thing. So we're gonna start with Alice here, who is my first agent. And I would simply, well, I would probably just copy her name down because I wanna track her emails, and then I go down until Alice's name stops, which it is here. And I can use my handy cheat feature over here. And I can see that it's 2,780. So I'll scroll right back up to the top and put 2,780 next to Alice's name. And okay, after Alice, I go on to my next agent and I see that's Allison Wells. And I do the same thing. Collect all of the emails she completed. Uh, and and here, this is an example, right? It scrolled up to the top. So I got to spend time finding, you know, the start of Allison's name. So anyways, time consuming and can be frustrating. Another way to do it, a little bit easier, a little bit more sophisticated is I go to data and I create a filter. And with this filter, I can select just one agent at a time and I can see all of their data quite easily. Obviously, I'll go to Allison here and here's Allison's data. It almost shows up on one sheet and she's got 370. And so, oh, where did, where did my first agent go? Well, because we're filtered, we're, we can't see any of this, any of the data that we've collected so far. So we would have to do another sheet and put email results here. And so also very time consuming. So let's clear our filter so we've got basically all of our data back together and I'll show you this pivot table functionality so I've got to select all of my data again go to data pivot table I create a pivot table I'm going to put it in a new sheet it puts it in a new sheet automatically for you and Basically, what you do is you fill it out by selecting data for rows or you may have, you want data in the columns. Well, the fact is we want all of our agents. Boom, there you go, all 39 of them there. And then the values were the emails completed and it's a sum. So now I see Alice, 2780, Allison, 370, and all the other agents. Make this look a little bit more presentable. And I like to format my numbers with a comma when you get thousands, so it's easier to read. But there you go. Very quickly and very easily, you've got a relatively simple request that can take a long time 
unless you use pivot tables.